been thinking about doing some other shit, but um, I got some ideas for. I always got some ideas for skits or whatever, but I, like even that, I got to get back into the rhythm of like actually writing scripts again and shit, and you know, get into that whole flow or whatever because it's been a while. Is your I'm motivation like shit. even there to like continue more videos? Is the motivation even there? Uh, I mean, I always want to. I always like doing like stuff like that. So I mean. If the idea was good enough, I'd definitely pull through for it. But it's like, even with the skits and shit, I don't want to be, like, dropping some mid and then, like, everybody's like, bro, this is not what I subscribe for, some low-quality ass skits or whatever. Like, I'm trying to make them shit into, like, little mini movies when I do drop them. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Come, you you saying the word subscriber. Uh, go ahead and finish your point. I just thought of another question. Uh, shit, I don't even remember. You said when that comes. <laughs> Yeah, when it comes, like hopefully people people appreciate or whatever, you know, because I'm a, I'm assuming it's gonna be something that I really put my time and effort into. Unless if I just like hit a point where I was just like, fuck, it, I don't care about this channel anymore. Time to drop some bullshit. <laughs> try to try to make some last minute money off this shit or whatever. But nah, I mean, yeah, I'm just I'm just cooling. I'm just cooling. The thing with me, bro, I, I can you can probably notice this by now, but like you can tell I'm cool with you because I be remembering a lot of the shit you be saying in your live streams. And at one point you said yeah, after this, all yeah. this after all this time, you still have not received your one hundred K plaque from YouTube, bro. What is that all about? Uh, yeah, bro, they, they wasn't trying to give me they wasn't trying to give me my plaque. <laughs> but I, how I, I mean, Don't you gotta give that to a channel when it be trying to gay? Bro, like, all right, so at one point I asked this man, Blackie Speaks, I was like, bro, how the fuck do you get 100K plaque? Because, like, I barely be having, like, any YouTube connections either. Like, I, there's only, like, a few people that I've ever had a conversation with that also either do or has done YouTube. Blackie Speaks, that's my, that's my guy. So I'll be hitting I'll be hitting him up for shit. I was like, bro, like, how, how the fuck do you get 100K plaque? And he was saying, like, they were supposed to, they're supposed to, like, there's a, like when you go to your dashboard, they're supposed to show like there's supposed to be a notification there that's like you can receive your 100k plaque. You know, click here to find out more or whatever. Yeah, and that's what I was wondering. Out, I'm like, aren't they supposed yeah, to like, email you or something? You're supposed to fill out. You're supposed to fill out your information and everything, and then um, they give you your 100k plaque. They never, they never hit me up for that shit. <laughs> and I would see, I would see other people that was like not even a fraction, like, cause I don't, like. I could definitely see how some of my old videos would be looked at as kind of wild, but like I was never like, I was never like, like super wild, you know. I wasn't like some some leafiest here as, I wasn't like some on some leafy shit, just like terrorizing little kids or something. Like I wasn't like wild and like, like super wild into the point where it was like it's a reasonable that they wouldn't give me my hundred k plaque. But there was people that was like not really like anywhere near controversial or whatever that just wasn't getting that shit either because like i guess they curse too much in their videos or something it's like if they're not giving <laughs> them their, their plaque they're definitely not about to give me that shit so i'll just stop trying it's probably time. like they think you was undeserving of it or something <laughs> they're like yeah was, you hit the send, number but we still don't fuck with you like that so yeah they were, send, they were sending a, they were sending a lot of those emails to people i was seeing that shit they were like bro this man just does not deserve or that they they were they would email back and be like, uh, you don't meet the qualifications for Dungeon Crate Plaque, or you're ineligible for X, Y, and Z, even though you met the requirements and shit. But yeah, oh, that's I, big. That's like, that's that, 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 that shit. That shit blew me too, cause like I was really looking forward to that plaque. I was about to, I was about to take a I had to take I had to take a fucking uh pick with with my laptop screen showing that I had a hundred K subs because I didn't have a plaque. <laughs> trust to, the process, Joel B I, type I, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have an actual plaque to, uh, to, uh, to flex. I had to fucking flex a monitor screen because that's the best that I had. And now they don't even show like the the sub count on like um what was that one thing everybody used to social 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 blade. social blade. Yeah, everybody used to be using that. And I don't even think they show the subs like that anymore. I, I mean, they showed it in the dashboard. Hit that hundred K. Fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> You were so yeah, excited, yeah. my nigga. The hype was real, especially with that mic. See, the funny thing about it, bro, the quality of your mic makes everything funnier, bro. I swear. <laughs> and I did this shit with a thirty dollar mic. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be making everything funnier, believe it or not, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I feel that. But it's so funny too, cause they 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 love they praise the awful mic quality on the main channel, 
but give me so much shit on the podcast. I'm like, my God, like you should already, you should already know what time it is when you click on these videos. Like the audio quality is gonna be piss fucking poor, but the the content itself is gonna be lit. I mean, if that's like, the case, how come you never story. wanted to buy another one then? What do you mean? Have you thought about like getting like another mic then? Since people like be trying to clown you for the mic quality, Cause I don't mind it no, at all. I, like it should, it'd be I, making I already, it funnier. But have you been wanting to buy? I already one? got another mic. What? Now nah, I already, I already got another mic. I've been using it for the main channel for a little bit now. But um, yeah, like the only time I use the old mic now is if I'm like recording some shit in the car. Like, I, bro, I've, <laughs> there be so many like discrete locations and shit. I gotta record my videos, especially when I was like. Screaming into a mic and shit, I was wild and I was like, I <laughs> You be in a big ass empty JC Penny parking lot or some shit. I was not I was not doing that shit in the comfort of my I was not doing that shit in the comfort of my home. Like I, I had to go to like random ass parking lots and shit. And like late at night. He in the back of a Walmart and still recording video. That's crazy. Bro, I'll be I'll be sweaty as shit too. Be, and I actually saw awesome. one of your videos. You had your mic like wrapped inside of like a bag, and it was sitting in, like your girl compartment. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, is that really how you be recording shit? Yeah, nah, I, I had that joint in a pillowcase, and I was just I was just making do with what I had. But yeah, I got I got a new mic. It's cool. I fuck with it. But, so what can uh, we expect? Uh, expect what can we expect from uh Card Game in the future, man? Like, are you making a comeback to the YouTube with your next video? What do we look forward to seeing? Cause I know you'd be wanting to comment on some of this shit that be going on. Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, I'm just not that. Well, first of all, it sounded like I just fucking up and left, and it's like, <laughs> bro, what, what, if y- if y'all do not understand already, just expect that you know something will drop at some point. I'm not about to force shit. If it's not like I like I said in the one video that everybody was. Was caught, well, the last video that um that that one video the uh, worst song of the year where I was uh-huh. like um that shit ain't there it ain't there I'm not about to force it but uh I mean that's that's whatever I'm like I, I I got ideas I put them into fruition when I feel like it you know I got other shit to worry about but um I mean I got I got a Patreon too for uh if y'all want to see some uh some lost uh, files that's been in the vault for a while. I got some shit from like all the way back at 2018 that, you know, it's just been sitting, sitting, collecting dust and shit. I'll be dropping, I'll be dropping every now and then on the air for them. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing that. Uh, I mean, I got ideas and shit that I want to put into fruition, but it's just like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I was putting a lot oh man, the pressure's on like shit for uh the pressure, bro. Ain't nobody messing I heard, with you. Nah, I heard I heard that word comeback and I'm like, damn, is it really like that? But nah. Um I, I sure did say that shit like you've been going for four months. I mean, at this point, yeah. bro, that's the upload schedule that people already know you for, bro. You, you be seeing your yeah, comments, I mean, people like, oh yeah, let me come back next year when he uploads again. <laughs> people already know yeah. you been taking a long time. I used to be sick of shit too, cause of like how long the videos would take. Now I'm just like, it is what it is. I'm just, I'm just, like, I just accepted it. But um, especially since we yeah. expect the, we expect the wait anyway. So yeah, yeah, it's like it's like y'all y'all that's y'all that y'all that's um watching this right now. Just know like some shit, some shit coming at some point. All right, you know you already know what time it is. Don't don't be don't be switching up on me now like shit and just like oh, I'm getting real tired of waiting. Like fuck like. Man, it's just, it's just, it's just, shit comes when it comes. Shit comes when it comes. <laughs> All right, that's the final question I have, bro. Then I'm going to go ahead and let you continue your DMV nature walk, bro. <laughs> I believe you already told me it was your Logic um, uh, your logic video, but what is your favorite video you ever made, bro? Like, whether you rewatch it or you just be thinking about it, you'd be like, man, I had a lot of fun making that video. Mm, see, see, I'm about to give a disappointing ass answer with that because, like, don't say all those twenty-two even, and a half savage videos. Don't say those, bro. But like y'all, don't, y'all <laughs> see, y'all don't understand. Like even that, it's like I can take more out of making a video like that or like some random ass vlog or whatever because it's like I got memories to like go back on that video. Like I remember exactly what point in time I was at in life when I made that video, and you know, just like seeing how young we were and shit when we were making those videos. It's like 
I get more sentimental value out of that than like, I know what you mean. Like, you know, because I was watching your first video with the you racing your man, and then the girl was like, "Oh yeah, get him." And then you was like, "Shut up, get your bitch ass inside." <laughs> <laughs> I was crying. I'm like, well, I can tell he was having fun with this shit. <laughs> he was like, "Shut yeah, up, don't nah, say shit, take your ass back inside." <laughs> yeah, like video videos that I can do with my friends and shit, and it's like super low effort, and I don't gotta like. You know, I don't gotta overthink everything. I just, I could just like, you know, ease back, be myself, or whatever. Those are definitely the funnest ones to make. Commentary, it's like even even when they're cool or they're funny to watch or whatever. It's like I don't, I don't get much enjoyment aspect out of making them because it's just like I'm literally just editing audio recordings. You know, it's not like I'm going out there and actually doing something. You know, <laughs> you want something that's like a Snapchat memory type shit. But oh yeah, this is two years ago. You be like, man, I remember those days. Man, I mean. I mean, that's like, like, like even just like the aspect of like treating your YouTube channel like a catalog. It's like, what don't you want? At the very least, like, let's say, let's say like you just go nowhere with the, with the, the YouTube shit like you intended. Like at the very least, you would, you would want like some memories to fall back on and, you know, but like even, even with the commentary videos, it's like, I still get, I still get good memories off of, um, you know, just like what the vibe was when I dropped those videos and, you know, just like the atmosphere around them and shit like that. Like it's, it's like, I'll be getting, I'll be getting a, enough love on my videos that like, I can appreciate, like I can appreciate it in the sense like, all right, I put a, my effort paid off, you know? But it's like, I don't think there was ever a time where like making a commentary video was funner than going out and actually doing like a video with my friends and shit. And you know, right. uh, pr probably not funnier than, but still, like, you ain't had a moment where, like, you just be like, that, damn, I had a lot of fun, like, recording that fucking video. That shit was hilarious. Not even that. Uh, I, I'll say, I'll say, um, there'll be, there'll be some videos where I finish making that shit and I just know, like, I, I know, I know this young, I know this young solid. Like, that's, that's probably the closest to that feeling of, like, fun. But it's just like, I don't know. So your your channel looking good for the future, bro? You not too upset to be posting? Is that really the vibe that I'm giving off? I'm just like <laughs> super fucking upset. Yeah. I'm I mean, no, no, no. It's it's, it's most it's back. mostly the um taking break from social media thing. When people say they take break from social media, it just feels like mentally they're not in the yeah, good space. Yeah, but it's like it's like even that, even even that, I I kind of just like want to get to the point where I don't have to explain myself because like I've been taking so many breaks from from the internet for like such a long period of time now like even the youtube shit like it's not uncommon for me to just go missing for like two three months and then just pop up later whenever i feel like it so you know it's like i i'd much rather just be like this entity on the like at the at the very least i'd much rather be this entity on the internet that just kind of pops up whenever and then everybody's like oh it's showtime showtime when he drops or whatever but yeah i've been i'm gonna focus on a lot more important shit than uh YouTube, especially recently, you know, just taking a lot of time to uh, learn shit about myself and uh, really just uh, focus on what it is I'm even trying to chase and, uh, you know, my goals and, and, and shit, you know, because a lot of people don't understand, like, how much time, like, you got to invest in, or, like, how much of your time that YouTube can consume. You know, exactly, exactly. Like, and I, like when I'm really putting in the hours, like this is literally all I can devote my day to. Like I, I like I'll be going hard for like seven, eight hours straight, and I still got like so much work to do. You know, it's like it's a full time job when it's a full time job when you make it one. And that's how I was people saying with be, your edits, bro. Your edits be so like minute, and it be yeah, so many of people, them. That shit be people, taking so people much time. People be taking people be taking that shit for granted. Like I used to, I used to think so weird of like the people who would be doing, like, the, the commentary videos and they just got the gameplay over. I'm like, bro, this shit is so lazy. Like, there are so many people that are doing this style. But it's like, now, like, I would be so, I would just, like, I would not be opposed to just, like, I don't know if I would, but, like, you know, just that feeling of not having to edit shit for extended hours upon days would just be, like, such a relief of just, like, like how they be doing the what is up you guys? It's your boy and then <laughs> and then they just get into the video and shit. The only thing I will say yeah. to that is uh keep 
keep the edits like that if you feel that it adds to the personality of your channel because there are a ton of these like commentary youtubers out there exactly like you said bro it just be 14 minutes of just gameplay of some game in the background and them just talking yeah, the yeah, still be getting, no, like, no, they're, not, they're not creative with that shit at all the thing is they don't have to be though people enjoy their videos the way they are they just like hearing their voice and their opinions on things they can look at it like uh they can just yeah. listen to it while they working on something or like driving somewhere so they don't have to watch it but like in terms of you like doing something like that only do that if you feel like it takes away from like because me personally that's why i enjoy your content the way it is because those small edits be making so many things funnier and like i said i appreciate that shit so don't don't be thinking that shit be going unnoticed i definitely appreciate it but if you don't want to do that anymore because right. it's too much work and shit if you, if you feel like it's going to change the quality of your videos too much, then don't even bother. Like, keep it the way it is. Or you could try it. You could do, like, a little test, like, video, like, trying that shit and just see how everybody else reacts to it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I got in the tank, like, shit. I got, I got, I got ideas that I'm thinking about putting together, but, you know, I'm not going to give a release date and shit. I'm not about to. <laughs> I feel like sometimes too, I'll be I'll be saying like, oh, I'm doing this, that, and the third, and then like shit changes, and then I just end up not doing it. And I like I feel like people be thinking I'm lying to them, and I'm like, nah, like I don't know, shit, shit, just shit just went a different path or whatever, shit just went a different way. But uh, yeah. Oh, you know what's uh, crazy? Let me. This this is actually something I can say to you real quick because I I believe this was in the comments of one of your podcast episodes. And you were, somebody was commenting how DMV rappers, oh, they said to you, oh, you need to promote DMV rappers more on your main channel. And you was like, dog, I be saying, uh, I be talking about DMV rappers all the time. I be having it at the end of my videos. When I read that comment that you said, that brought up something. I'm like, that's the thing, though. You got to remember that not everybody is going to watch the whole fucking video. The stuff that you plug at the end, your SoundCloud, your podcast shit, talking about DMV rappers, whatever you plug at the end of your video, like 80% of the people that watch the video are not going to see that. They're not going to watch it to the end. Like the moment they hear like your little theme, nah, you just start playing, they click it off, bro. Though, when it's like when, when, when majority of people are quoting shit word for word, it's like no way you just got to three minutes of this video and you're quoting shit at the three minute mark, you know? No, not even it's that. Like, like when your commentary stops and shit and then you start playing your theme music, they click off the video. Like that's why I don't know if you noticed oh, that about yeah. my channel, but uh, that's why I don't have outros, bro. I get done talking about the final like entry on the list and then I just play my little block boy outro outro every, every, that's it i don't yeah. have um i don't have an actual outro on my channel because for re for retention purposes bro the moment people would hear the creator say some shit like all right guys thank you for watching the video like they leaving like immediately so that's why i don't do that so that's why i'm just yeah. saying with you about the, the shit DMV, you plug at the, the end you gotta know nah, that people DMV, not gonna see that now nah, the dmv rapper shit is different because i'll be saying i was i'll be mentioning that shit within the video like I be shouting them out all I be shouting out DMV rappers all the time and people just like wanna pretend like I just don't be doing that shit and then get mad as or like try to paint the I don't know, they just trying to put this narrative. It's like first of all, I don't know. I don't even I it's been a while since I even I, I remember that interaction, but like I just uh, yeah, it's been a while since I thought about that. But like even <laughs> go back to like the old head video, like I was like, You wanna listen to some tribe music, listen to Hubbard's Pablo One or Q to Four or something like that. Yeah. I put every I was the first person to put I was like one of the first people to put people on to Rico. Like she wasn't even an option for the double XL. Neither was Shabazz and I I'm shouting both of them out. It came at the expense of IDK, but it was like fuck it. I mean it's still it's still attention in the DMV. It worked for me because you're actually the reason I started checking out Montana 300. Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a tell you the truth. I couldn't get into Montana 300 because he's like a punchline rapper. <laughs> like, punchline rapper is just one of them rap styles I kind of got sick of over the years. So when I saw Montana, I started hearing his music. I'm like, every every line, the nigga trying to say something clever. It started to get on my nerves. <laughs> it started to get on my nerves. Yeah, I gave nah, it, it had definitely... It had definitely been a minute since I listened to him, but like, if it, out of the options that they had, he was like one of the better people at that time. Like, he had definitely, he had definitely earned his stripes to to be an option, you know. Oh yeah, for, for sure, bro, for sure. Because <laughs> I still remember you thinking that he was gonna be on the uh, 2017 list, bro. And then everybody, <laughs> but that that made me realize, bro. So many. You ever just realize that some people just take a joke you say and just run it into the fucking ground like the Playboy swag shit? <laughs> some people yeah, don't be letting shit yeah. go, bro. You'd be like, at this point, I don't even think this shit is funny anymore. Yeah, no, and it's, it's like, I don't know, that shit, that should be happening a lot too. And it's just like, I, like, and one and one hand, I appreciate the love that I'm getting or whatever, but at the same, on the other hand, it's just like, yeah, it's just it just gets run through the fucking dirt. 
<laughs> exactly. Like, bro, like you can't you can't think I like <laughs> like even with even with the with the IDK like first of all, I didn't even say like they nah the, what be blowing me is like people be quoting shit, but they be quoting shit wrong and then try to push a narrative of saying of something that I never said. Like the, the I think Oh, that somebody, definitely somebody, has happened to me too for sure. I know exactly what you mean. I by think that. somebody recently was like, um, well, Patrick said in his follow-up video that Quavo had the best album. I'm like, first of all, no. Like, <laughs> when the fuck did I ever say that? When the f- I'm pretty sure I said the complete opposite of that shit. But it's like, damn, that man That man had, like, the quotation marks and everything. Like, he really got that shit down and tagged me. Like, oh, he's, he's going to really appreciate this. <laughs> hey, bro, I didn't say that shit at all. What are you talking about, man? Right, like, bro. That's I think this is something that I tweeted like months ago, bro. I was like, bro, people really love to focus on the negative things you say over the positive. You can give a a rapper four yeah. compliments, four compliments, and insult them once. They gonna pay attention to that one insult and completely ignore all the nice shit that you say. <laughs> yeah, I I think like because it's been a while since I watched my videos too. I feel like that's kind of the the ne- like sometimes i'll be thinking too negative on my own shit and like even at the time like i i didn't have intentions of it being like super negative and i like worded it correctly so that it wouldn't get perceived as super negative but like it just it just takes those people that just interpret shit wrong to like really fuck up the the vibe of everything you know i guess that's why some then, people don't like reading their comments after a while all it takes is like two or three hate comments and they just get sick of everything yeah, that's a that's a that's a shit really be hitting that hard, I guess. <laughs> I guess it, 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 watch it, it's gonna it's gonna come eventually, like shit. You're gonna hit a point where it's just like fuck it, y'all are just not saying nothing productive. Man, this okay, but this is actually something I have to ask you personally, really quick, dog. This is not something I expect from other YouTubers. Like I don't expect them to do this, but I'd be surprised. I don't it's I don't think any other YouTubers watch my videos. Like I've had a few YouTubers reach out to me saying they do. Like Gully Boy say he watches me. Um uh at CDTV and Isaiah, even Blacky Speak say he's watched a few of my videos. I'd be so surprised to hear that. And that'd be because y'all don't fucking say anything to me <laughs> about any of my videos. Like I when I was in your live stream a couple of times, you would say, Oh yeah, bro, I watched this one video, I watched these videos right here, bro. You'd be funny as shit. I'm like, you watch my videos? Like, I have no fucking clue because, like, you never, like, comment on anything. You don't be telling me, hey, bro, I checked this video out. That shit was funny. So it's like, this is what I meant by I don't be expecting people to comment or nothing. But I just be so surprised. Like, Gully Boy told me, he was like, yeah, bro, I watch a few of your videos. I watch a lot of y'all hip-hop YouTubers. I'm like, you do? You have never commented on one of my videos in your life. Like, I had no fucking clue, bro. So no, that shit, that shit just be throwing me off. I'm like, if you be watching my content, you enjoy it. How come you never told me that? <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. I, I mean, I'm I'm one of those people that just like I peep a lot of shit, and then I'm just like, I don't know, like I'll be showing I'll be showing love every now and then in the comment section, but like even that, like I don't know, that shit goes unnoticed too. Like when I will comment something, I don't know, I don't know, I'll be commenting shit sometimes, thinking that I don't know, I don't think I ever comment shit expecting a response back, but like I'll be peeping a lot of shit, but like sometimes. I don't know. Like, I'll be watching a lot of people, but I'll just be, like, that's that's kind of it. Like, I'll just, like, I'll see something and I'll tune in, but I'm not, like, notifications on or whatever. But, like, right, right. I'll be watching, I, like, yeah, I'll be watching your shit and we, like, we be having our back, our back and forth conversations or whatever. So, like, when I see, when I see, like, oh, I'm fucking with this last video that you did or whatever, I'm gonna let you know it's yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I, I, don't I understand. Know. I understand what you mean in the way because I've had my moments where I comment on somebody's video and it was like a long ass like nice message, and then like they never like said anything. That should be having no likes and no hearts. I'm like, did y'all even see this shit? Like, I don't have the comment on your video. <laughs> yeah, that should be hurting sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like even me, even that um, shit had me very even, confused. Uh, yeah, even like a uh, goalie boy. I think I had been back in the day. I was sub to him when he had like 5K. Like I was there for like the pretty much all of the the come up that he had. You know, like I, I remember when he dropped that uh, that one video that got everybody fucking mad. It was like the top 100 worst rappers, and he started <laughs> that shit off with Lil Wayne. He yep. started that shit off with like Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj. And then Nicki and like, Drake. Yep. <laughs> this, this man burns out. Like this, this man. This man. 
This man asked. That's the exact for reason him. why my homie don't like him. He said he he said it, he didn't like Gully Boy after that video, but it wasn't because of like the choices of the rappers he put on the list. It was because Gully was just trying too hard to be funny. He was like, oh, this dude, he uh, his his music sucks and he sucks like she male penis. He was like stuff like that. It was like, but this dude is not funny. Nah, if it, it, yeah, so it felt like it felt like some of them he was reaching, but yeah, Gully, I, I've been tapped in, I've been tapped in, I was tapped in the Gully Boy for a while, and then I, I I noticed when like he was going through the his shit with his channel, and it's like. I don't know, like, I, yeah, there was always. I'm gonna like, have to get my man like, on the podcast then, but I, me and him talked before, and I asked him about all that shit, and yeah, he explained it to me. But I gotta see if he got time to go on the podcast, podcast, because he might, he might not answer. But hey, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's that's how I be trying to. That's how I was trying to do my podcast too, like just uh, just have like random guest appearances and shit. But yeah, it's you already you already on a roll with that, getting people set up for for that and whatever. But uh, all right, Patrick. I had I appreciate you having me on the podcast podcast. Oh, oh man. <laughs> hit me hit me up whenever you want me to be on yours, bro. I'll gladly be there. We can talk about whenever. I'm gonna nah, let you go but, ahead and uh get, get your rest of your day handled, man. No, nah, but nah, bro. bro. <laughs> had a great time talking to you. All right, it's everybody, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed Crack Game on the podcast podcast. I'll I don't know when's the next time I'll upload another episode, but hey, the next guest I have on, I'm sure y'all gonna like anybody I talk to, bro. We we cool over here. <laughs>